Hello, this is Paramjit Singh. Welcome to another episode of Passing Clouds. We are still in the middle of pandemic and protests for anti-racism are going around. And when we look at those protests, it naturally begs us a question that why do people treat others in a such an abusive way? What brings someone to take someone's life so intentionally? especially if you have watched those videos, it's rather heartbreaking to see someone sitting on someone's neck so calmly at the same time, not recognizing that somebody else's life is being snuffed out. So that recognition and that realization often brings us to ask, what exactly is that the person is lacking, who is not able to see the suffering and the pain of the individual who is on the other end of the justice. And sometimes we think that it is empathy, that people are not empathetic, that's why they are not able to experience what others are experiencing, and that leads them to brutalize others, abuse others, and do all sort of untold things a human can do to others. Others say that that may not be true. Empathy skills may be useful, but in certain conditions, they become exactly the weapon for the abuse that is being used for. So, for example, empathy is about feeling with, which means that you experience the same states as it is experienced by someone else. So if you're part of a group or if you're part of an organization, that would mean that you are being empathetic to their thought process, to their cause. So, but being empathetic to organization's cause or group's cause can put other people at risk who are not exactly aligned with that cause. So that would mean that a police officer who happens to be part of an organization and tend to think in sync with the, with the thought process of the organization may be empathetic to the whole process, but the way he or she thinks can put someone else at risk because that person's thought process does not align with the organization. And this is where the other side, the non-helpful side of the, the empathy skills comes in for. And it has been shown in research that it's not that people lack empathy skills which allows them to abuse others. In fact, they use empathy skills to initiate the process and then they have the ability to shut out the way you feel about it so that you can continue to abuse others. That's true for, for example, domestic abuse. That's true for psychopathic behavior because it's incorrect to large extent to say that psychopaths are not empathetic. In fact, empathy is the use to seduce their victims in the initial stages, but they have a remarkable ability to shut out the way they experience somebody else's pain. So empathy skills are useful in certain context, but it is not the skill we are looking for when we are thinking about bigger issue problems like wars, interracial problems, national problems, bigger group problems because then you are actually pitted against each other in a bigger group form. So your loyalty to one group can come at the cost to another group. You can be, same thing can be said of patriotism. If you're patriotic to your country and your country wants you to take you to war, uh, you can be empathetic to that cause, but that empathetic perspective can cost a lot of lives to the people on the other end so empathy has its own limitation. Maybe another thing to think about when we think of bigger problem is compassion skills. And compassion skills are to feel for others. And compassion from a scientific perspective has been found to be something which have a unconditionality to it. It's like a maternal love. It also has an element of help. And it seems like that when somebody is being compassionate, they are more likely to, to help others because they are not resonating with it the way the person is experiencing. So that brings us out of what we call empathy problem, which 
can be problematic, especially if you're talking about bigger uh, and big ticket issues. Empathy also has a spotlight problem. You can be empathetic to someone you love, but if that empathy or being empathetic to that person can actually cause harm to someone else. So it, it is not a fair way to work through the problems. Compassion, on the other hand, can be useful in thinking about how to fairly adjudicate certain issues, especially big ticket issues. So for example, if you are compassionate individuals, you would more likely to be fair because you're not resonating with the person, but you are more likely to also see the other person where they are coming from. And that allows you to sit at a vantage point which helps you in a more fair manner. And whenever we talk about these issues, I think it's helpful to think that empathy is not maybe what we are looking for to solve our bigger ticket issues. Maybe we should aim for compassion because the compassion is more proportionate, compassion is more fair, and compassion is also self-nurturing, which means that the compassionate people, because they do not get suckered into the thought process of the other person, they're more likely to maintain a detached view of the circumstances, and that allows them to be objective and helpful. Compassion also don't seem to run out with time. For example, if you're engaged in a process for a longer period of time, you will notice that compassionate people are more likely to just keep their wits together than empathetic people. Empathetic people tends to burn out because empathy, by the way it works, it allows the person to resonate with other people and that resonance can be wonderful as a way to make a rapport, but that also means that the person is internalizing all the negative states from the other individual, which can, over the period of time, put the person at risk for burnout and other mental health issues. So whenever we talk about these things, maybe we should aim for compassion. And it's a lot more nurturing, it's a lot more rational, it's a lot more objective, Instead of falling to what we call empathy deficit, it's a good idea to talk about compassion. And maybe as we are struggling with the racism and all the things that come from there, and we are wondering why someone and how someone can actually intentionally do harm to someone else, maybe we need to come out of this empathy thing and start thinking about compassion because empathy is about loyalty. Compassion is about humanity, is about fairness. And that's what we need in this moment. So whenever you have a conversation next time and somebody drops that we lack empathy, maybe it's time for us to have a conversation that it's maybe precisely the opposite. It's not that we lack empathy. It may be because we have too much empathy and for wrong things that leads us to do the harm we do to others. If you like this podcast, please subscribe, share and like. Thank you very much for spending time with me.